This is the first time ever that I have purchased first class flight tickets for myself. And it's also the first time ever that I haven't significantly overpacked. Yeah, that's my version of not overpacking. And so with all that said, I thought, why not do a vlog? It's the 9th of August, 2019. And the first step is booking the Uber. Ah, I should probably know which terminal I'm going to. 10 minutes later, and apparently all version flights that are going to the States fly from terminal three. So getting my Uber to take me to terminal three, let's do this. Thank you. Cheers. Now I could have taken a chauffeur. There was a supplementary fee, and I thought, yeah, you know what? That is just going to be extortionate. Uber is good. It's it's reliable, fast, and uh, yeah. Now it's time to go and check in my bags, and I'm excited to see how this experience is compared with how it usually is when I fly economy. Yeah, it's a hotel. Um, oh, I'll just get it. Because I'm staying in a couple of different hotels, um, so let me just get the one where I'm going first. Now I love airports and I love traveling, but this is just so seamless, it's so stress-free. So this is the normal security, but I'm just going to go right through that and it's going to take me there. So going up the stairs into the garage. First place is obviously the restaurant. So they have breakfast, lunch, dinner, and there's even afternoon tea as well. And there's also a deli bar over there. I'm going to, because it's currently still breakfast time because it's 11.40. The lunch starts in 20 minutes. So I think I'm gonna go check out the deli bar, see what they have over there. Then I'll show you what I get to eat. And after that, I'm gonna take you on a little explore around this place because it is insane. There's a spot. I waited for 15 minutes, I went for a random selection of things. So I just went for some turkey, a pear, and then some smoked salmon with beetroot. And then after that, gosh, the lunch looks really, really yummy, but I'm going to just get on with a little bit of work. In here, I literally just have my laptop and then a small, small amount of other things. I've popped a book or something, and let's give it a go. I went to the gym this morning, so I've definitely now got my protein in. And I should probably tell you, I'm flying from London to New York. And I know that the food that I eat in New York is going to be unreal. In fact, I made this video before, which has lots of views on it now. So that means that I have to, of course, make another one while I'm there. So I'm thinking this time that the best dessert in New York is going to be coming. So smash that subscribe, hit the thumbs up if you've not done so already. I'll show you my lunch and then soon it's going to be time to get on the plane. This is the deli bar. There's quite a lot of a nice selection of food here. That was what I had, that beetroot stuff. It is amazing. So in this lounge is actually table service, but as I said earlier, the deli is you go up and get whatever you want. So while I waited for my lunch, I went for some just salad -y items. Because I'm feeling very, very, very hungry and I am just wanting to be a bit healthy before I do go to New York. But there are some cookies over there that are looking at me, just like everyone in this lounge just staring at me vlogging. And so, let's be honest, I'll probably end up having one or three. Barley, so this is my cauliflower salad of the morning. I also went for this, it has chicken and fries in it. Here we have the spa and then there's also a hair salad. Which I think is so smart because honestly, if I was <laughs> stuck here for a while, getting your hair done there makes sense because it's just time that you're not using otherwise. In here there's a gigantic TV which is amazing. Some seating all around. This place is amazing. Just thinking like normally how you feel in the airport when you're waiting, you're like, oh, this is so boring. This is exciting. Even the toilets are amazing. Look at this. And it smells so good in here. And this is the garden. And then just down there, there's a games room, but there's people playing. So if I film in there, I will look a little bit weird. Anyway, now it's time to go ahead and get on the plane and uh, get ourselves to New York. Screw it, I'm getting a cookie on the way out. So that's when I just got chosen for 
for the extra security check and I was freaking out because one time it happened my friend and I and my friend had to go into this like little room and they had to like check in between her boobs and everything but I'm just more chill like I'm so much more chill right now normally I feel like I'm rushing and stressed even though I love to fly and I find it fun but I'm just like super super relaxed so anyway now it's time to go to the seat so when I got on the flight, I was really excited. Whenever I go traveling, I'm always super excited, but I'm dreading the flight. But this, I was so excited for. And we started our journey in rainy old England and uh, I was just so excited. So the first thing I did was I pulled out my laptop and I just got on with a bit of work. I love working on planes. I just love that there's no Wi-Fi, and well, obviously there is Wi-Fi, but I didn't use it and that no one can just interrupt you and you're just in your own world put my headphones on so that there was noise cancellation and then I found out that there was this bag and this bag was just full of gifts and I was happy about that so there was some nice eye cream some lip balm some earplugs and then also eye patches I always wear them whenever I sleep which was great and then I decided okay I'm just gonna sit back I'm gonna put my duvet on and munch up on some popcorn and just get on with some stuff then the exciting time came so the lady who was serving us she brought over a menu and it was a proper full-on menu where you got to choose what you were gonna have to eat I have four of these now they're so good and the lunch it's not really lunch is it but the meal is coming soon so they give you this full-on menu and I'm um, getting like a starter main dessert so I'm pretty excited cheers I have a glass of red wine now interestingly enough all of the wine is from berry brews and rudd and I actually went to an event there literally just a couple weeks ago I tried all of the wines and I must admit it tastes absolutely unreal so I decided to go for some prawns as my starter yes you get a three course meal and then after that I went for some filled pasta which was pretty good however the best it was the dessert it was like this sticky toffee pudding with mango stuff inside oh my gosh it was amazing and then i suddenly remembered that i still had my cookies so i got them out of my bag but they were bloody amazing because i'm going to new york as we get on my laptop doing some work for my program Impact Your Online Business which is a company that helps other people start their own online coaching companies but apparently there's a bar at the back where there's tons of snacks so let's go have a look the snacks ah I see all the snacks all the snacks so today oh we've got gosh, we have sweets we've got basil nah, and green boring. olives boring I see chocolate we have yeah oh it's built chili on. and rosemary olives that is such a letdown did you see what just happened we have I thought it was chocolate Oh, it's built on. I'll try it. It's got a nice cookie. cookie. More some biscuits. Nice cookies. Ooh, oh, more things. We've got some corn. love corn. Popcorn, that's what I have. And we've got some watermelon. Them, yeah. Kitchen sweet. I'll try that. Twisting my melons, man. Twisting my melons. Oh, and I've got some. I do like a bit of Keith oh, lemon. Oh, oh, chocolate. Oh, just yeah, for you. There we go. Thank you. I have all of my snacks, so I went for that built and I'll try it. Got some chocolate, some popcorn, some sweets, and then some fruit as well, just because. <laughs> yeah. Now that is some good popcorn. It's like, it really does taste like banoffee. You know, sometimes it says on the outside that it tastes like it. This one really does. Jimmy Lang's done pretty well with these. They are pretty tasty. A good amount of sour.
So then we landed in New York and that brings me on to what I'm about to talk to you about now. Wow, that flight was incredible. Now I'm gonna talk to you about it in a second and just update you on a few important things. But I met a couple guys in, in the plane, amazing gay couple and we are just, well, we just shared a cab back to Manhattan. So I'm about to, whoa. That is something I've never seen before. Just got to my hotel and the reason why I'm lying down is because this is an amazing, amazing blind, but I can't figure for the life of me how to actually bring it up so that there's light in this room so I'm just getting that natural light in you know what I'm saying even though it's not um the best angle I was really hesitant and resistant towards making this video because people are gonna say you're so spoiled you're so this you're so that because I used to be one of those people who thought that flying first class was pointless I thought it was an absolute waste of money even six months ago and Here's the thing, right? Here's the reason why I choose to fly first class now. I had a realization as <laughs> there's people there staring at me vlogging. I don't know if you can see them down there in this room here. That is so funny. Let me focus. So the most incredible thing happened. I arrived in New York and then I ended up getting to the hotel around, let's just say seven. And I was meeting a friend at eight for dinner. We ended up meeting at half eight, we had our dinner and then it got to 11 and his friend or just a connection of his invited us to go to Gary Vaynerchuk's office and just have a look around because his friend works there and it was amazing. We went, we, we, we saw his whole office, there was tons of cool people there who we were chatting with, made some awesome connections and none of that would have happened if I hadn't have decided to have taken this upper class or first class, whatever you want to call it, flight because I would have been too tired and I was able to nap on that flight for around two and a half hours. And so I stayed up until, I don't know, two in the morning, which is the equivalent of 7 a.m. UK time. And honestly made some memories that I never would have had otherwise. But here's the actual reason. It isn't to do fun stuff like that. And to be fair, that's still business connections, but I own my own business, as I mentioned earlier on in this video. And for me, Preserving my mental energy is so important because when you have your own business and to be honest like when you're trying to pursue such a high such high level things in general you need to be able to preserve that mental energy in preserving that mental energy it's things like minimizing stress it's things like also having physical energy as well and being able to like wake up at a good time not feeling sore things like just just so many different aspects look it's not only that it's about surrounding yourself with things that you want in your life so there's a whole like law of attraction and things i think that it's like you have to actually put in the work to get something but at the same time if you're consistently surrounding yourself with luxury then it makes you want to keep working hard so you can continue to have it and so i am so 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 frugal with everything and recently i've just realized like that mindset that i'm having that frugality it is damaging my mindset towards business because it means that i want to minimize costs in every little area i possibly can and it's just it's just the the amount of time and effort and energy that i spend on trying to find the best deal or whatever it's time that i could be spent on income generating activities and that's why i think it's so important to understand what those activities are for you and realize that when you have your own business then let's just say you spend a few grand on some flights then that's going to allow you to then the next day after you've landed be able to have more hours where you can focus on income generating activities and simply just make it back okay so that's what i really just wanted to say here obviously my thoughts and my opinions may change as time goes on but i have made a commitment to myself that for long haul flights i am no longer going to be flying economy and that was the first time i did it and it is so far just such a good decision it was such a good experience i know the novelty will wear off like it does in everything which is a real shame actually but at the same time, it was, it's was it been really beneficial for my business and everything as well. And even though right now it's an investment, obviously, yeah, I definitely do not regret that. So that was that. It was awesome. 
I am so glad and I'm committed to continuing to fly in first class, upper class and hopefully soon with my new Amex I can start collecting points so that I can uh, get some miles and uh, yeah, if you don't have an Amex and you have a business then you definitely should because their points are awesome and uh, yeah so if you they I, I have like this guy who's a contact and so if you want to get a business Amex card this isn't sponsored or anything by the way I just thought I'd let you know um, just make sure to send me a DM on Instagram at Lauren Dickner and I can link you guys together and you get a ton of extra free points and also if you want a personal one if you don't have one of those already then there's a link in the description box below which uh, gets you a bunch of free points anyways I'm going out now to go film a couple of podcasts with a friend of mine he's gonna come on mine I'm gonna go on his and so we're gonna go do that out in New York City look at all that traffic I love it here. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.